Hello, everybody. My name is Hannah, and this is uh, Jazz Up Your Partnered Basics. And I am perhaps Elliot. Um, if you're coming to next class and didn't see me here today, you'll think I'm Elliot, but I'm actually Paul substituting today. They look like twins. Um, so cool. So today we learned uh, four solo jazz moves, and we then learned how to incorporate it with uh, into our partnered Lindy Hop. So the solo jazz moves that we learned are the mess around, which can start on an eight or one, and has a nice pulse. Or you can do smooth, or you can like whip it around. You can do it the other way. It's really awesome. Um, so that's an eight count move, or it can be a twelve count move, or it can be whatever count move you want, which is awesome. Uh, the second move that we learned is hallelujahs. Hallelujahs, you kick a foot out and you bring it forward and you get kind of this nice curve in your back and curve behind and then you switch out to the other foot. So, so he's doing it to the side so you can see the nice lovely lines that come with the awesome hallelujah. Then the next move we learned, pretty simple, crossovers. You can do some cool stylings if you want. This is kick, cross, kick, yeah. Um, and then we did that into a Suzy Q. So it would be, so we did a, let's just do crossover into a Suzy Q. So cross, ha, cross. Oh, oh, sorry. One. I, I lied. <laughs> so if you notice, Paul does a really cool kick into, can you show the kick into the, um, into the Suzy Q? Yep. Whereas I just kind of, I'm doing a crossover and I just kick in. I don't really lift up my back leg. So but that's up to you. That's the beauty of solo jazz. You can do whatever you want. And then to the other side, which I hate. So the styling points that we talked about is keeping your foot flat on the ground. You can lift your heel up on the back. So from the back view, it looks like so. This can give a slightly different look. Uh, and you can also make your back leg move more than your front leg, which means that you don't have to flutter as much as if you were doing breeze and knees. And then also, if you're just working on the basic move itself, it's a windshield wipe and a step. Windshield wipe and a step. Super basic. Windshield wipe and a step. Cool. And then we worked it into our partnered Lindy, uh, partnered, uh, Lindy Hop. So mess arounds, we put them in a couple different places. End of the swing out. Stop on the 7-8. Both a pulse stop. Oh, hey. <laughs> um, uh, both a pulse stop as well as uh, there's no triple stop on the 7-8. And then we also put it at the end of a, um, in a, at a side by side. Wow. And so the way that I can tell that this is happening is um, because his hip is kind of the, the hip-leg connection right here. Either leg or the hip depends on your body geometry. I also like doing it from a two-hand hold into kind of a cradle position. Wow. Provides a little bit of a closer connection. Yep. Cool. And then the last one that we did was a rock step uh, stop. Rock step stop for count break. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right, then hallelujahs we did. out of a Charleston on the five, ha. Huh. And so Paul talked a lot about how to indicate as a lead that that's happening. So we have our hand in a, kind of a gentle hook that's solid. And we have our hand around the follow's waist and the follow is nice and close in. So if we're shifting our weight around, we have a pretty good control of the follow's weight. So if I'm going up, they can come up with us. And if I'm going down, they can feel the down or the up. And so what we're doing here is a normal Charleston. When the follow has that free foot on five, three, four, five, I can come down onto it. One, two, three, four, boom. So that's straight down without very much back bend. But we can also add now, boom. This is exaggerated. And what I've done so here see. is move my own body. Yeah. And hand rotates. And Hannah feels what? I feel my back rotating, though don't go too hard on the follower's back. Yeah. So I feel both a forward down as well as kind of a curve up, and then I visually confirm that the hand's going up. Oh, it must be a hallelujah. You hallelujah. It's a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. It's a hallelujah. Yeah, exactly. You can also get out of it um, by going on 781. 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, out and out. So what you're doing is out, in, out. Five, six, seven, and one, two. And you're back to rock steps. Cool. And then uh, we also did a hallelujah at the end of a Lindy circle. You can do so also just do it at the end of any sort of side-by-side -side rock step move. Rock step, ha. Huh. And this time it's the outside leg. Yeah. And you just, and that one's easier to exit because you literally, you're here, you can rock step out of it. 
And notice like a good follow, there was no hand there intentionally, but she was still following the waist motion, so you don't need that hand, but it's an extra bonus if your follow is having trouble telling. Yeah, and then we did crossovers and CCQs. So we started by doing some weight shifts, make sure that we have that same uh, connection at our waist. And when we felt like we were on the same foot, we can shift back and kick and back. And I'm moving my body physically to one side and the other. It's actually displacing in a V. So what we're doing to get into it is we have to fudge our feet to have both of our feet be the same. Out of a Charleston basic. Mm -hmm. Two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two. So my footwork here was one, two, three, four, five, six, rock, step, rock, step, kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two. Or if you're lazy, you can just do nothing and wait until you rock step with your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Cool. Uh, and so combine all together. Woohoo! And how do we get out of it? When the follow is on their um, right right foot, yep, just rock step out of it. Rock step onto the right foot, so mm -hmm. they're on their left foot. Um, cool. And then uh, the cool thing about crossovers is you can enter them right into Suzy Q's. <laughs> oh, okay. So, ha, rock step, ha, rock step, ha, pull. Up. And so, how do I feel? Something is happening. Is that there's a downward motion and there's also a side motion as well. So. Rock step. Huh. So I'm moving my weight down. So all you have to do is decouple yourself from what the follow is doing and rotate them when their weight is on their left foot. And that can be directly out of a Suzy Q so they can rock step out. And you as a lead can do anything independent that you want to. Cool. And then the last place, this is an extra add on bonus for uh, the um, very end of class, is a Suzy Q out of a swing out. Ah, yes. Or, you know, whatever you want. We'll work on this a little bit more next week. So, thank you so much, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure. Super fun class. Um, I, I know we'll see you next week.